everybody coming to you. Mrs. Dewey, Mrs. Dee coming to you from um, Salina. Actually, I have a friend that has a space that she's letting me use. Thank you to Sea Town Yoga. Um, just a friend of mine who said that I could use the space to connect with my students, which I'm super excited about. This is our first session of mindful stretching for students. And we always have our Wednesday mindful stretching sessions when we are in campus. And so I wanted to continue that. The good news is that now everybody on campus can do it because you all have access to it and you're in your own private home, so you don't be feeling weird and stuff like that. So um, that's the exciting part. So Wednesday mindful movement day um, at DAP. And so this is for you guys. And so it's 30 minutes, right? aside from a few minutes in the front. Um, this is our first one though. So those of you guys who have practiced with me before, this is gonna be a lot of the basics again that you may have heard already and, uh, and my story again that you may have heard already. So kind of bear with me if you're the expert and you've done several sessions with me. I just wanna make sure I get everybody caught up to speed in the same place, okay? So, um, so why are we doing this? What the heck does do? Why do we do this stuff? Okay, so, awareness so we can be aware right have you guys ever gone from one place to the other and you don't remember how you got there right you have no memory like whoa wait what happened i just walked from a to b scary thing when you start driving i just drove from a to b and i don't know how i got there you don't want to be doing that but what that means is your body is doing one thing and your brain is doing something totally different and what that does is it separates all your personal power into all these different spaces and so what you're doing over here you're kind of doing and what you're doing in your mind you're kind of doing but you're not doing anything at 100 percent and you're not doing anything really really well and so what we do with our mindful stretching is we kind of slow down and become aware of what our body's talking to us about so that we can start being all in one place all in one time and have all of our energy and strength to do what i'm doing right now so that's what our mindful stretching is for and we use different things to do that, but um, it is definitely for everybody, and it's definitely something that will make you stronger and better and more aware. Um, the other reason we do this is to calm down. So kind of the whole world is in slow down mode right now, right? But my personal story is I didn't learn how to slow down until I got cancer. And so my students know I'm a cancer survivor, and I did not learn how to slow down until I got cancer, which sucked just letting you know. Um, but they put me in a mask and they, they um, clipped me onto a board and I had 20 minutes a day where I had to lay on my board just being still and it was horrible. But I had to learn how to slow down. And I hope you don't have to do that before you choose to learn to slow down. So that's kind of why I'm telling you these things. And the more I slowed down, the more I realized I reacted less. So, do any of your reactions ever get you into trouble? I know the answer to that question. Don't lie to me, I know the answer. And my own answer is my reactions can get me into trouble. So mindful stretching helps you react less and be present more and do better at some of the things that are important to you. So that's why we're doing it. And awareness is the first step of change. So if you're seeing things as you're cooped up in your house that you're like, I do not like this dynamic at all. Change what you can, but becoming aware of those things is the first way to change them. So enough talky talky. That was our mindful stretching session, okay? Uh, introduction. The rest is gonna be movement on our mat. I'm gonna ask you to do some goofy things. I'm just telling you, they're gonna be goofy things, but try it. Now usually I ask my students to try it in groups of 10, which is super scary and they are super brave, but you can still be super brave and try it at home. You can try this if you're in fifth grade, you can try this if you're in 12th grade, it doesn't matter. Um, and I want you to do the best you can do for you. So don't do anything that's gonna hurt. Don't do anything because you wanna just be the best. And we're gonna just listen to our body, okay? So that's what we're doing. Um, so we're gonna start here with our easy seat, it's called an easy seat position, and my legs are just crossed, right? And I'm gonna turn my music on. Music, very important. 
I have old person music, I'm just telling you. Actually, no, I have some things in there I think you might like too. But find music that makes you happy. You don't need to be listening to music that's like, die, you don't need that. You need happy music right now. You need calm music right now, okay? When you're angry, put it on a few songs, but then move on, okay? So the songs that we're using are happy songs, and if you don't like them, maybe you can leave me a comment and say, hey, Miss Do, try this, but it has to be school appropriate, but I'm totally open to any suggestions you have about music, seriously. Send me an email, say, Miss Do, put this in the, put this in the mindful stretching, and I will put those playlists together. It has to be school appropriate, no cussing, no N-word, you got me, okay, good. I mean, I could lose my job, so I can't put that stuff in there. So, here's what we're doing. We're gonna sit easy seat, okay? Easy seat just means my legs are in like crisscross applesauce, whatever style. Sometimes when you're doing this, your legs might be way up here. Totally fine, doesn't matter. Your legs will relax as you go, okay? So, one of the big things we're doing on our mindful stretching is combining how we breathe and how we move. That's the biggest piece. And the first thing we have to learn is to learn how to breathe. I know you think you know how to breathe. You don't know how to breathe. Well, if you've taken my classes, you know how to breathe. But if you haven't, you don't know how to breathe, okay? So I'm just saying. We're gonna try our breathing hand over our tummy, another hand over our chest. We're gonna sit up tall. Be aware of your posture, okay? Make sure that you're not slouching. And we're gonna breathe in, and when I breathe in, that breath is gonna push my tummy out, okay? I know we're supposed to always be keeping our tummy in, but not when you're breathing. So breathe in, and breathe out. And breathe in, and breathe out. So you should feel your tummy going in and out. You should not feel a big, huge rise in your shoulders. So breathe in. And breathe out. And breathe in. And breathe out. And breathe in. And breathe out. Whoo, if it's making you dizzy, you're not breathing right most of the time. If you can, Live without a lot of things. You can't live without your breath. Your breath lasts maybe three, four minutes and then you die, right? Your brain needs breath. And if you're breathing and you're like, whoo, you're breathing right if it's making you dizzy, but you're also not breathing right a lot of the time. You need to make sure you're getting constant oxygen in your brain. So, as I said, those of you guys who've done these things, some of this seems kind of simple, but a lot of it we're gonna use again in other things. So I wanna make sure everybody knows what they're doing. So now we're gonna start combining our breath and our movement. And that's gonna take all of our energy right here, just on this little square. If you have a towel, great. If you have an exercise mat, fine, doesn't matter, okay? Hands are gonna be down by your side. Rolling your shoulders back and down, sitting straight up, being aware of your posture. And did you notice that sitting straight up takes your core? Hmm, how tight is your core? Hmm, okay. Hand to the side, breathing in, bring your arms up, and breathing out, now we're gonna lower our hands. Two more times, bringing our hands up, breathing in, and bring arms down. Hands come up, breathe in, and hands come down. Now if you're going way ahead of me, you're not winning, okay? The slower the better and our mindful stretching. Hands come up. Now, we're gonna take our right hand and we're gonna put it down on the ground. We're gonna take our left arm and we're gonna tilt down a little bit and look under our left arm. Now, important, you could fit in a toaster. You're still straight. I don't want you stretching beyond what is comfortable. Still breathing. So only as far as is comfortable, and you should be feeling that right in here. All these muscles start talking to you. Hmm, what are you doing? Coming back down to the side. Hands come up again. We always have to do both sides, so I'm gonna take my left hand down, and I'm gonna look under my right. Ooh, stretching that side. Breathing in. And breathe 
breathe out. Breathe in. And coming back down. Now, we want to make sure we're not rolling forward, we're not hunching, you know. It's not about how far you can stretch your hand. It's about feeling that stretch in your side body. One more time, hands come up, breathe in. Now we're going to fold forward. So folding forward only as far as you can, touch the floor, maybe arms come down to the floor, and just walk it only as far as you can. That you're going to feel in the back of your leg. Breathe in. And breathe out. And breathe in. And breathe out. And walk your hands back up. So one thing I didn't mention, this is really, really good for stress. So if you feel stressed out, just kind of notice, are you a one or a five? One, I'm good. Five, I'm totally stressed out. If you think you're a one, I promise at the end you'll be even under a one. But it definitely helps with stress. So now we're going to take our foot and we're going to exchange it. We're going to move the other foot to the front. Weird. Yes, we all have a favorite side. And so whenever we stretch out, we want to make sure we're using both sides equally so that everything can be moving the same. And, you know, we don't want one side shorter than the other or one side being used less than the other. So again, this is just about becoming aware of how your body feels. Does it feel weird to have your other foot forward? It probably does. It always does to me, even though I've been doing this a long time. So hands come down on the side. Lifting up, breathe in. A little bit quicker this time. Breathe out. Breathe in. The whole class itself is not going to be this slow, but this beginning part where you're just checking in and you're just realizing, hmm, my body does really talk to me. I'm going to breathe in and I'm going to put my arm down to the side, my right arm, and I'm going to lean over maybe a little further this time than I did last time. I'm still not rolling forward. My posture is still good. I'm looking under my left hand and I'm feeling that all along the side of my left part of my body. Coming back up to center, breathing in again, reaching up towards the ceiling, other side. So I'm gonna put my left arm down. I'm gonna look under my right. Again, I'm not rolling forward. I could fit in a toaster at the top part. I'm looking under my arm and I'm feeling that all the way down my body. In fact, you might find a little more space on that side because we've already done this one side stretch. Coming back up to the top. What comes next, remember? Hands up, breathing up, and folding forward. Again, you're gonna feel this in different parts of your legs. A little bit of a back stretch in your leg. And rolling back. That is the truth, what don't kill you makes you stronger. Rolling back up. Okay, so that was our little bit of a warm up. Last part of our warm up we're gonna do, I'm gonna turn sideways so you can see what I'm doing. You don't have to do that. You can just keep looking at the camera. So we have our spine, right? Our spine is the most important thing in our body. Everything we do is connected through our spine. If we break our spine, we can't walk, we can't talk, we can't sleep, we can't eat, we can't anything, right? So spine is super important. So we're going to make our spine go in and out. It's going to go back, it's going to go curve, it's going to go back, it's going to go curve, okay? So the way we're going to do that, we're going to combine our breathing again. We're going to take our hands and put them on our knees. We're going to sit up straight. Now, I know this is silly, but it feels really good, so just hang with me, all right? I get it. So we're going to go ahead and push our, put our chin down, and we're going to push our back, back towards whatever the wall is behind you. And that's one way to curve your back. You should feel all kinds of connections in here waking up when you do that. And then when you breathe out, you take your neck and drop it back. Move your chest forward so you're curving your back. And go ahead, combine your breath and movement. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Wow, that feels really good. Especially if you've been sitting around. And looking up. And exhale. And inhale. And exhale. Feel good. And looking back up to the ceiling. And relax down. So, keeping our 
spine fresh. Now, we're going to move into a little bit of movement. I'm not going to go super hard on you today. We're going to build up and we're going to teach you how to do some of these things, but we're going to start with the table. So with a table, if you have knees that aren't so good, you can put down a blanket or anything like that to keep your knees from getting tired. Okay, that's the first thing. Second thing, we're gonna use our wrists during a lot of this. So if your wrists get tired, you can always squeeze them. You can go ahead and try that real quick. Just squeeze your wrists and relax the muscles there. Like, ooh, Miss D, what's going on with the wrists? Well, but the other part is pay attention to what I'm telling you about alignment because it's really important and it affects how all your muscles feel, okay? So, I'm going to make myself into a table. Table, simple, right? So I'm gonna take my knees, put them on my, my towel there, and I'm gonna make sure my knee and my hip are stacked on top of each other. And I'm gonna take my hand, and I'm gonna put them right down under my shoulders, and I'm looking at the floor. And then my tummy is pulled inside. So that's my table, okay? So try and go ahead and make a table. When you make your table, we're going to stretch out our hands a little bit. So take your fingers, this is where things get really weird, sorry. So take your fingers and put them towards your knees. Take your fingers towards your knees. When you feel that in the front of your hands, if you type a lot, yeah. And you can even scoot back a little bit, but I'm not warm enough to do that right now. So I'm just going to let it be just switch around. And pull back. And then take your hands and take your wrist down like this to the front. Ooh. You can do one at a time. Just do the right top of your hand. And then do the left top of your hand. Wow. Needed that one. And back to our table. Okay, so on this we're going to warm up. I'm going to get into a couple things that are going to warm us up really, really quickly. And I'm just going to say, do the best you can, okay? Just do the best you can. That's all you can do. So we're going to breathe in. We're going to lift our right hand up. And exhale, bring our right hand down. We're going to exhale, inhale this time, bring our right hand up and our left foot back. Now make sure your foot is flexed. And your core is tight. So you're engaging your arm reaching out, your leg kicking back, your tummy tight. Bring it back down. Breathe in and breathe out. And breathe in this time, left hand comes up and comes back. And again, left hand goes out, but this time right foot comes back. Looking down at the mat, hold it, breathe in. And breathe out. And breathe in. And breathe out. And bring everything back down. Good. You guys did that really good. How's it feeling? So, if your wrists are bothering you, go ahead and you don't need to switch your direction. I just need to switch my directions because that's where I'm comfy. So, going to advance that a little bit. Be ready. Looking at the floor, stacked on top. Breathe in and breathe out. And we're gonna breathe in and we're gonna kick our left foot back, right hand out. Now, looking at the mat, now we're gonna crunch three different times. So, exhale, inhale, exhale, and inhale, and exhale. And back down. Then we're going to inhale, take our left arm up, right foot back. Inhale, exhale. Crunching on this side three times. Two. And three. Notice when you do things slower, somehow they get a little harder. I could do three crunches really easy, but if you do them slow, they warm you up a little better. So, shoulders are rounded, hands are underneath. So, from here we're going to go into a plank. So, just to get used to what things are today. A plank, my hands are underneath my shoulders, my feet kick back. I am a straight line, right? My booty is flat, 
and I am holding at my core. If this is too hard, that's totally fine. Nobody's watching, right? You can bring your knees down. This also makes you get stronger. So it will help you to get stronger to do it a little bit at a time. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go from plank, inhale, and we're gonna exhale down and open our heart up. And spine back. Inhale, plank. And exhale. And inhale, plank. And exhale, stretch back the opposite way. And inhale, plank. Good job, bring your knees down. From here, remember we're still warming up right now. We're gonna take our knees wide. Let me show you our resting. This is our resting position. We're gonna knees wide, toes are touching. We're gonna come back down. We put our head down. This is really good for stress relief. You roll your forehead around. Pretty awesome. You can squeeze your wrist in this position, no problem. So now we're going to combine that resting pose with our plank. So let's see how we do. The so resting pose. Breathe in. Come to your plank. Back to your resting pose. Now really, you can come up to a modified plank here if you want it. Modified plank. And then exhale to resting pose. And then back to your modified plank. And your resting pose. Are you doing it? I hope so. But when you do it, you'll feel better. And exhale back to a big plank this time. And then back. Funny, isn't it? We don't use any weights or anything, but just with engaging our core and everything else, we can get everything warmed up really, really fast, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and go back to our plank. From our plank, we're gonna go into our first upside down V. So from here, I'm gonna go into my upside down V. I'm taking my hips up to the sky. Once again, I have groups of 10 kids doing this. It looks funny, but it feels really good. So you get to do it in your house first and you get to see what it feels like before you so you know how awesome it is. Your hands are spread out. Go ahead and walk your feet. Walk. And then find a little bit of stillness in that upside down V. Push back on your hands. You should feel that all the way down the back of your legs, your lower back. Breathe in. And breathe out. And breathe in. And breathe out. And now we're going to just walk our hands up. Remember those of you guys who have done this before, this is our first one for some people, so we want to make sure they have lots of confidence in some of the things we are going to ask them to do, or I'm going to ask them to do. I'm going to move my blanket to the side. So now, we're up to the top. We did a little bit of warm-up. We did a little bit of talking. We're going to do a little bit of practice with awareness right now, okay? So here we go. Remember that cancer I told you about? That makes me have to drink a lot, so sorry. So, always take care of yourself. So we got all that warmed up with just the plank, right? Um, so now, we're gonna do a little bit of an awareness in this um, position called a mountain. So I'm gonna be a mountain. So my mountain, check in all these different places. Take your two fists, put them together. You're gonna bend down between your feet and make sure your feet are just two fists apart. And your toes are facing forward. Make sure that's really important. They're not this way. Take the time to look and see where your toes are. Then you're gonna roll back up. And you're gonna roll your shoulders back and down. Put your hands out to the side. 
seems like a really easy pose, but this is also really good to check in with your posture, make sure you have, you should feel like there's a strain pulling. And you know the straighter you walk, the better your posture, the more confident you feel, the more confident you look, the more positive things you get, right? So that, that can only help. So we're in our mountain here, and we're gonna kinda do a little bit of an awareness check. So, I invite you to close your eyes. You don't have to close your eyes, but I invite you to close your eyes. And as you do, go ahead and spread your toes. And I want you to start moving your weight. So first move your weight forward on your toes. And then move your weight to the right. And then to the back. And then to the side. And then to the front. Hmm. Okay, becoming more aware. Moving your weight to the right, again, and then to the back, and then to the side, and then to the front. And now we're gonna go to the other direction, to the left side, to the back, the right side, to the front. Again, left side, back, right. to be aware of where you are, where your body is. So a lot of times we have emotions that come out, we have no idea how we got there. The way we can stop those big emotions from coming out in ways we don't like is being aware of them before us. So we can do other things with them, right? So now we're going to practice a little bit of balance. I know these are my kids' favorite things to do. They're kind of challenging. And I never know what my balance is gonna do from one day to the next. But I know that our brain is like one big computer with all these windows that are open all the time. And part of our job is closing down windows. What happens when you leave your computer on all day long with all these windows open? It goes slow, it shuts down, it freezes up. Our brain does the same stuff. So all this is just a way of closing down windows so that we can just calm down for a few minutes and then choose what opens back up again, right? So, we're going to do our balancing, which is awesome and fun. So we're going to take our left foot, we're going to spread our toes really wide. I'm going to put all my weight on my left. I'm going to take my arms out to a T. And now I'm going to start hinging from my hips, picking up my right foot, going into an airplane, tilting, looking at the floor, holding my tummy, kicking my foot back strong. A strong foot in the back will help you with your balance. All your focus, all your energy on the ground. Breathe in, right, breathe out, breathe in, and breathe out. If you fall out, come back in, and swing it back down. Good job, guys, good job. So if you fell around, and blah, blah, blah. it's okay. It's okay, it's what it's for, it's practicing, right? Shake out your legs, right foot. We're in balance this time, okay? Hands are out to a T. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna hinge at my waist. I'm gonna look at the floor. I'm gonna straighten out my back leg. Oh, 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 whoops, see? I fell out, no big deal. You know what that means? My brain's on lots of different things. Let me bring all my brain back to what I'm doing. Looking at the floor, breathe in. And breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out and coming back down. Awesome. Shake it out. So how do kids say, Miss, do you fill up? So you can't do it. So how am I supposed to do it? No, 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 no. Balance is different every day for everybody. And so all that tells me is I've got a lot on my mind. So I'll just kind of focus again, take a breath, focus again. No big deal. Okay. So we tried our first balance today. Awesome job with that. I hope you did really good. It's something to keep practicing on your own. You don't need to practice the balance, right? So now I'm going to turn over to the top of my mat. I'm going to squat, 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 squat. And I'm going to roll back down. And I'm going to rock and roll for a little bit. So what that means, I'm going to kick myself back and forth a few times. You know, sit on your back. It looks really silly, but who cares? You're by yourself, right? In your room somewhere feeling this. Who cares? So... Give myself a little back massage there. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do 
some leg stretching. Now, I have a strap that I'm going to use for my leg stretching, but then I'm also going to show you how you can use your towel to do this, okay? So again, the whole point is breathing and mindful stretching. So, my left foot is out. I'm going to take my right foot. I'm going to put my strap or my towel around the bottom of my foot. I'm going to kick it towards the ceiling. Now, I'm going to be holding that strap just to help my leg stay in a stretched position. I want to feel the back of my leg and my calf. I do not want to feel stretching right behind my knee. That's not good. So, breathe in and breathe out. This is not the time to be super tugging and like falling over and everything. Just enough of a stretch so that your leg knows you're giving it a little bit of attention. Breathe in. And breathe out. And breathe in. And breathe out. And release that leg down. And I'm going to do back and forth a little bit. And now, if you're like me, you feel like a bad rubber band, you know? Loose on one side, tight on the other side. So I'm going to lay my left leg straight out. I'm going to take, just so I can show you how, you don't have to have that fancy belt. You can have anything. I'm going to take my blanket or my towel here. I'm going to use my towel to stretch. Because some of you I know are using a towel or a belt, no big deal. So I'm going to take that around the bottom of my foot, and I can still pick it up, and I can still hold on. And I'm going to breathe in, and I'm going to breathe out, and I'm going to breathe in, and breathe out, breathe in. And breathe out. And release back down. Awesome job. You like should feel really good now. Let's move these out of the way. We only have a couple more things before the yummy ending. Okay, so um, what we're going to do next, we're going to do some twisting. Twisting is super good for your body. I will tell you this though, my legs are going to go all the way to the ground. But if you're not there yet, also totally fine. You can take your blanket, shove it down there on your knee so your knee can land on a blanket if you want it to, okay? So we're gonna take our arms, put them out to a T, bring our knees in to our chest, and we're gonna drop them to the right. And I'm gonna look over my left. So knees are to the right, looking over my left, and just holding that twist. Breathe in. And breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Big breath in. And breathe out. And you can use your arm to bring your knees back up. Put your hands on your knees. Roll them around a little bit. You can feel that release in your lower back as your whole side body there is stretching. Arms to the side. You're going to take your legs this time, drop them to the left, looking over your right hand. So my legs go this way. My hands go the other way. I'm looking the opposite way of my legs. So left and right. So we're going to drop our knees to this one side and look over the right. And we are breathing into that twist. Breathe in. And breathe out. Feels really good on your side here. Twisting is like twisting a sponge, getting all that junk out of your you know, inside. It's really good for you. 
And then we're going to bring our knees back up to the top. Last thing before our final rest is up. We're going to take our feet. We're going to take them straight up to the ceiling. Now, if you want to kind of relax while you're doing this, you can certainly use your strap, but this is not a light stretch. This is just for reversing all the blood flow back down to my head. And I promise you, Misty promises, I've had kids that have done this before they go to bed at night and they say it helps them sleep so good. So 10 minutes of putting your legs up the wall are awesome. Hey, you know what? The worst you can do is try it, right? If it doesn't work, it doesn't work for you. But I'm all about trying things to see what does work for you. Everybody's an individual. Well, I'm just relaxing with my feet up the wall or up the ceiling. <clears throat> and I'm going to bring them back down. Now, this is the part that all my students love the best. And it's called just the resting part. You've done a lot of stretching today. And if you haven't been working out while you've been at home or been working out much at all, sometimes it can feel like a lot, right? So, I'm going to use my towel. I'm going to fold it. I'm going to roll it a little bit, and I'm going to use that for my head. My head goes back here, my neck goes on here. I have a little bit of a washcloth I'm going to put over my eyes because it will help me to just kind of not look around and try not to pay attention to all kinds of things going on. So I invite you to put something over your eyes. Lay down with your head on there. And then you can even, if you have a blanket, take a blanket. So remember we've been mindfully stretching, trying to figure out what our body is saying to us, but right now, we're going to reward your body for doing all that work for you. So I'm just going to relax, and I'm going to rest. Lay all the way down. I'm going to take this, put it over my eyes, and we're going to rest. I'm going to put my hands down by the side. I'm just going to talk to you for a little bit once you get set up. Go ahead and breathe in. And breathe out. I hope you found a comfy space, a comfy way to relax right now. I just feel really proud of trying a new thing today. should feel like the side of your body, your back, and your legs have been stretched out a little bit in a good way. Remember, we never want you to be hurting when you're done with mindful stretching for students. So you're laying down. And I know that it's not an easy time for people right now. So I want to invite you as you're resting and feeling all those good stretches that you just did, think about something you're grateful for. Is it a person? Do you have access to the internet right now even though you're home? Do you have someone who loves you at home? Does your family have a way to make money right now? I know things are hard for a lot of people, but there's something you can find to be grateful for. So find that one or two things that you can be grateful for and just think about them as you're resting. You don't have to focus on your breathing anymore. Just relax your body all the way into the floor. Back up. 
You did it. You finished your first day of mindful stretching. Check back in. Miss Dewey misses you. Can't wait to see you again. Hope you stay safe. Have a great day. Bye.